What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Zero Designs. Today we're going to be talking about the Micro Jig Gripper. This is the Micro Jig 100 and what I like about these from what I've seen from other wood shops and other people using them is it keeps your hands away from the blade. Instead of going in between the blade and the fence, you're going to go right over the top and you're going to have plenty of space between your, your hand and the blade where you shouldn't have to come close enough. I see a lot of people going out and buying the stop saws and everything like that, and that's great. I don't have $5,000 for a table saw to make wooden flags. So I decided instead to spend $50 and pick one of these up. <clears throat> one of the main things I've seen about this is it's going to offer you um, your downward pressure that you would be applying with your typically your push stick um, so it's going to virtually eliminate the possibility of a kickback it's also going to keep your inward pressure to your fence which is going to keep it running a straight rip and it's going to give you complete forward control as you're going through the board from what I've seen with this tool so far it's going to give me basically an extra hand the way I run my a uh, table saw right now is I don't have a feather board or anything like that. I have a, a a push block and a push stick. I usually keep my block at an angle holding the board to my fence as I push with it going through. It works okay. I do have a lot of binding that way because I'm I'm sometimes pushing too much pressure into the fence. So I'm hoping that this will make for really fast ripping of uh, stripes for my American flags. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble it and we're probably gonna run a couple uh, test cuts with it. So let's dive straight into the gripper by Micro Jig. All right guys, so here it all is. I saved you the time of opening up the box and pulling everything out. That's just dead space for video purposing. Um, this is the what they call their main the main body. You got your handle. These are your runners and your guide. So it's looking like the first step is you're going to take these two pieces here and you're going to put them in this little groove. You're going to need the two big screws and their corresponding washers and they go right down into the holes on top of the handle And these slide into the main body. Just like that. We're just gonna just barely snug them up for the sake of it not moving around on us right now. All right, so step two, we're going to take your center leg, is what they're calling it, and we are taking these two green pieces. These are going into your side tracks on this side, just like that. Run those through the center leg and then feed in the main body. Just 
just like that. <clears throat> then you need a washer on both ends and these little green twist-ons. Starting to look like a micro jig. All right, so now that we have the center leg and the handle attached, we are going to grab this one. And this is gonna go right there on the outside. And for this one, you need just the, the smaller screws and a washer. So now that that's attached, we're really starting to look pretty good now. It's really not that hard. I, I thought it was going to be a lot harder. So now that we're here, what we have to do is we have to repeat that same process on this side with the other side leg. I keep wanting to call it a shoe for whatever reason. but. So now yours should look like this. And what it looks like the last step is, is attaching your balance support. That's what they call it. And for this, what you're gonna wanna use is it comes with some of these, let's see if I can get one on here. These little black rubber O-rings those go on the inside, then you take these and your washer, and they come in from this side. Sometimes it's best to get them started on the threads before then it'll force them down as you screw it in. these a nice little final tighten up and there you have it guys the gripper 100 all right guys so that was super easy to put together I was really impressed with how everything just fits together and how fast it just all snaps together um one thing I do know um your side legs are different sizes for you can get real close to the fence with this one if you're cutting real thin pieces and then this is your other side here um i really like just how it feels it, i mean it's sturdy it's heavy and uh yeah i want to get cutting with it so let's head to the table saw and let's run a couple stripes for a flag and, and see how she does all right, guys, so before we get cut, and there's one quick thing I forgot to mention. Um, I know I kind of touched on it. You have your, your smaller leg and you have your wider leg. This side is this side is half inch. This side is quarter inch. Um, I flipped my balance plate to the other side. I don't see myself using this side as much as I do see this side. And another thing, that center leg, the reason we have these adjustable nuts on them is this moves for wider cuts so what we're going to do is the cut we're making right now for this the medium flags that i do is an inch and an eighth so we have ample amount of room with it set 
just like this. So we're gonna go to so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna cut a couple stripes just to just to see how it feels. All right, guys. So this thing's the real deal. I only did a couple test cuts with it. Um, as you can clearly see, it's freezing. Um, it's really cold. It's, it it was like fifty something degrees yesterday, and and then today it's it's been below freezing all day. But I wanted to get this video done as soon as possible because I am very excited with this product. Um, I'm really happy with it too. Um, that channel. Your blade runs right in there. I mean, look at from that's how far your hand is away from the blade. You go right over the top. It was very easy to slide the wood. These grips on the bottom are fantastic. Um, as soon as I set it on the wood, I mean, it was there. My table saw is a little bit. Uh, it's brand. It's actually brand new, but um, it doesn't have a good slide on it yet. I got. I got to re wax it or repolish it, whatever, because. It, it was binding towards the end, and I think that was either due to not completely understanding this, or it was due to the fact that the table saw has only been used maybe a handful of times since it's come out of the box. But I really like this little stability plate, and what you do is when you take your piece of wood, if it's a small enough cut, you can drop this down up against your wood and that's going to give you more pressure up against your fence as you're ripping it through the board or ripping it through the saw so there's really not a whole lot I can say about this right now I mean I, I I'm super happy with it I've wanted one forever and I finally got one and yeah you guys are gonna see a lot more of me using this so all right guys so I'm pretty sure that was the uh, first tool review we've done and I am very happy with this. Um, I like the feel, the weight, everything about it. So you will be seeing a lot of that in future episodes. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by the shop. Um, there is some big things going on outside of camera. There's going to be a lot of announcements being made. And some of them are going to benefit you. So it's probably a good idea for you to hit that subscribe button. And probably hit the bell button to be notified of any future videos, giveaways, and uh, quick tip Tuesdays, builds, reviews, who knows. So, it's freezing cold, guys. Um, it's the joys and benefits of living in the Midwest. So, I'm going to get out of here. As always, I appreciate you guys swinging by the shop this week. Here's a uh, playlist of some build videos I did. And uh, get to work.